But let me say with you a young man. In one kitab I read, Shabun yatahaddath anil qabr. A young man speaking from his grave. I wouldn't generally accept anything till I haven't done some research on its authenticity. I then came across the very riwayat in Ibn Kathir. And you know Ibn Kathir is naqidul hadith. He is notorious for refuting anything that is fabricated or unauthentic. Ibn Kathir makes mention of it. There was a young boy in the time of the Prophet ﷺ, Yulazimul Masjid, frequented the Masjid. After Isha, it was his routine. He used to go and visit his elderly father. So routinely come, sit in the discourses of Umar anhu. And after Isha Salah, he would go and visit his aged father. وَكَانَ لَهُ أَبٌ شَيْخٌ and as he would go and visit his father, كان على طريقه امرأة. There was a young girl that also lived on that same road. And obviously this girl came across in a provocative, seductive way. You know, like one youngster said, by my nature, I'm highly inflammable. And they throw in sparks at me. By my nature, I'm highly inflammable. And he said, some of them are not sparks, they're explosives. So anyway, one day while walking, he fell for this girl. She invited him in the house. He was a young man, he was a human, he succumbed to a point. As they now get into the door of the house, she walking in front and him behind. Luqman Hakim said, Ya Bunaya imshi wara al Asad wala tamshi wara al Mara. Oh my son, if need be, walk behind a lion and let it roar. Don't dare walk behind a woman. Ya Bunaya, you must read the advisors. Ya Bunaya ad dunya bahrun amik, gharaka fiha al awaluna wal akharun. فَإِنِ اسْتَطَعْتَ فَجْعَلْ سَفِينَتَكَ تَقْوَى اللَّهِ وَزَادُكَ عَمَلُ الصَّالِحِ لَعَلَّكَ أَنْ تَنْجُوا وَلَا أَرَاكَ نَاجِيَةً Oh my son, let me tell you in crude words, but let me be to the point. This world is a deep ocean and the tides are rough and high. Forget about smooth. عِشْ فِي الدُّنْيَا مُعْسِرًا إِنْ شِئْتَ أَوْ مُوْسِرًا لَا بُدَّ فِي الدُّنْيَا مِنَ الْغَمِّ دنياك بالأحزان مقرونة لا تقطع الدنيا بلا هم عيش في الدنيا معصرا إن شئت أو موسرا لب لبيش ولب أدبس كلامتيز and tragedies are inevitable so anyway he was about to enter the house behind this girl تذكر قول الله at that critical juncture, he recalled one verse of the Quran. Now my young brother, I appeal to you. And may Allah transmit my message across the globe. You will also go through this clash of emotions. You might well pick up that phone and you might well want to go start chatting. And there is this clash within you. There is a whisper of Iman. And there is a provocation of evil, which my Allah says, Inherently, we have left him with evil and nobility. Both are inherent in him. It depends what he decides must dominate. Clash of emotions. I had a youngster that called me the other day. And he says that many a times, I jumped into my car and I say this in acknowledgement to the Creator Allah above, nothing of my own, tears in my eyes. He says I was going to the club and I was about to party and then I decided let me just own one of the lectures of yours that I have and uniquely it tied up with the same discussion. Allah be my witness, I took a turn at the door of that casino. There will be a clash of emotion. He was about to enter the house. He recalled one verse of the Quran. Ibn Kathir has mentioned this in the second volume under the commentary of this ayah which this boy recalled. 
Verily those that fear Allah, when they are afflicted by the influence of the devil, and they realize the blunder they have caused, they comprehend the mistake they have perpetrated, they repent and they abandon that sin. He reflected over that verse and he collapsed and fainted there. Let me remind you again, Ibn Kathir has mentioned this in his tafsir, Rahimahumullah. فَلَمَّا ذَهَبَ ثُلُثَ اللَّيْلِ A third of the night passes, قَامَ He stands up and حُمِلَ إِلَىٰ أَبِيهِ He is taken to his father. His father asks him, Oh my son, what is the matter? Again, the very verse comes through his mind and the father asks him, وَأَيَّ آيَةٍ قَرَأْتَ يَا بُنَيَّ Oh my son, which is this verse that you read? When a young man has the aspiration of deen, Allah will independently endow him with knowledge. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is what the Prophet ﷺ, Ma'riful Qur'an, in the concluding verses of Surah Mu'minun, this riwayat is mentioned. They go and visit a sick person. You and I would obviously understand the presence of the Prophet ﷺ. He would invoke the blessings, read the relevant du'as. But on the contrary, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud advances whispers something in the ear of the sick man and Allah cures him instantly and permanently. I gave you the reference of this narration. Nabi alayhi salam said, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, what ayat is the shade with me? He says, O oh, Nabi of Allah, I read the verse, Afahasibitum annama khalaqnaakum abatha Afahasibitum annama khalaqnaakum abatha وَأَنَّكُمْ إِلَيْنَا لَا تُرُجَعُونَ Do you think we've created you meaningless and you won't return? The Prophet said, Allah has, select, Allah has favored you with the selection of the correct ayah. Wallah, you have chosen the precise verse. If it has to be read on a mountain, it will also move. وَأَيَّ آيَةٍ قَرَأْتَ يَا بُنَيَّ Which ayat you read, my son? He said, I read, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ إِذَا مَسَّهُمْ And he painted for the second time. But this time not to be revived, that was the end and he passed away. Ibn Kathir then writes, Rahimahumullah, he was taken and buried by night. In the morning, Umar radiallahu anhu was informed. So Umar radiallahu anhu said, let me go visit the grave of this young man. And Umar was Umar. Umar came to the grave, وَصَاحَ Umar. And Umar called out, Ya Fata, Ya Fula, Nabna Fula, listen, O young man, listen, O the son of whoever you are. He who dies fearing his Allah, for him there are two paradises. Ibn Kathir, Rahimahumullah, writes in his tafsir, the young man answered from his grave. قَدْ أَعْطَانِيهَا رَبِّي يَا عُمَرْ مَرَّتَيْنِ Umar, you talking of theory, I'm talking of reality. My Allah gave it to me. Umar, you are talking of theory, I'm talking of reality. My Allah gave it to me. I call upon the youth in the hundreds that have gathered here. If any person makes an intention with Allah at this juncture, to abandon that sin, to abandon that wrong, be it chatting, be it SMS, be it whatever. I'm optimistic from my kind Allah, you will give you no less rewards. I am optimistic from my kind Allah in the condition and the environment that we are exposed to, Allah will give you no less rewards.